All right. Um, I'm addressing a question here that we had in the forum, like a video showing how to import a single MIDI track uh, that is being used for the intro and outro so that it plays only at the beginning and the end of a song while leaving the verses blank so you can generate a solo uh, in between. So, and the example here, a blues with a 12-bar melody that plays at the beginning and ending 12 bars uh, with maybe 36 bars left blank. Um, so, I've, I've done almost exactly that same thing. Uh, I've got a 12-bar blues here, uh, and that's this file here, 12barblues.sgu. So, there's currently no melody on the track at all. It's just the chords so far. Uh, I have five choruses, so basically an intro and outro and then three middle choruses. So... And I also have this uh, MIDI file here that um, has a 12-bar blues at the beginning of it. It has additional stuff within it as well, uh, but uh, I'll show, show you how we can use just those 12 bars to be an intro and an outro for this. So um, now that 12-bar blues just happens to be a blues in A, so I've already got the, uh, a 12-bar uh, blues in the key of A chords entered in here. So, we're going to do this in two steps. So first of all, we're going to import this MIDI uh, track and put it in the first chorus. And then we're going to repeat the step and put it, duplicate it in the last chorus. So, to start with, let's just check this out. Yeah, so that's basically the style there. So we're going to put the melody in it. So, in order to do that, uh, we're going to go to the melody menu here. We're going to go edit melody track and import melody from MIDI file. And we're going to select that 12 bar blues. Okay. So now we have to enter some, uh, some things in here. So number of bars to offset from the start of the MIDI file. Now that MIDI file has two blank bars at the beginning, but a band in a box song also has two blank bars at the beginning. So uh, we could say zero bars to offset in the MIDI file, so we're leaving those two bars blank, and then we're also not inserting any blank bars at the beginning. So you can do that, or the, the other way you can do it is say we're going to offset the start of the MIDI file by two bars here, and we're also going to insert two blank bars here. Either of those is, is correct, and either of them will work. Um, although for the second, the second part of this, uh, this tutorial, it actually will need to be two up here but I'll get to that later. And how many bars to import? It's a 12 bar blues, so we're gonna import 12 bars. Now, if we said zero here and zero here, we'd need to import 14 bars because it would be the two blank bars at the beginning of that MIDI file plus the 12 bars of the 12 bar blues. So uh, so why don't we just do it like that? It's either, it'll be either two, 12, and two, or zero, 14, and zero. I did say there was gonna be some math in this. So, um, yeah, so we'll do that. Uh, so I'll just hit OK. We've imported 54 events, so let's listen to it now. So we've got it in there now. Now you may be wondering why it says electric piano here, but we're hearing an organ. That's because I think that MIDI file itself actually had as an event in it, change patches to, to uh, organ. If we didn't want that, um, we could say, uh, again, go to melody. Um, well, let's just do it again and we'll have it, uh, well, I'll show you. Edit melody track, import melody. We'll do exactly the same thing again. Um, now you'll notice here, uh, there is now already MIDI on the track, so it gives you the option to merge, but we won't do that here. We'll leave everything and include patch changes. No, we won't do that this time. So I'll go, okay, it's done the same thing. And now let's play and we'll see how it sounds. There you go. So now it's... Uh, electric piano. So that just shows you some of the settings we can use. So we now have it. It goes all the way to the end. So I'll play it and then it will stop after 12 bars, even though that MIDI file was longer because we only imported those those 12 bars. So <laughs> 
So you can see it's played that the, just in the first chorus and then starting at chorus two, it's got nothing. You can add a solo, record your own solo, whatever you like to do there. So now the second part of it. Uh, we'll go edit melody track, import MIDI from MIDI file again, pick the same MIDI file. Now this time we will make sure we do merge with existing data on track because um, we want to leave the first chorus, otherwise it would uh, erase that. So now, this is important here, N number of bars to offset from the start of the MIDI file, we do want to say we're going to offset, so we're going to ignore the first two bars of the MIDI file so that it just starts off with those 12 bar blues. Uh, and we'll only import 12 bars this time. Uh, but now, number of blank bars to insert at the beginning. So here's where, <laughs> here's where more math comes in. We want this to be the start of chorus five, so we want all of the first four choruses plus the two bar intro to be blank uh, bars to insert at the beginning before, it, before this MIDI file comes in. So four choruses, uh, that's basically four times 12, which is 48. So we need to insert 48 bars plus the two bars at the beginning, so that's 50 bars. So I'll, we'll insert number of blank bars, 50, and let's just check the rest of these things. Uh, and I'll also explain them, just since we're looking at this file, this uh, dialogue here, I'll explain them too. Continuous controllers and pitch bends, uh, you can either choose to include those. I don't think this MIDI file has any, so uh, it doesn't matter. But if there was, you could, you could choose to include or not pitch bends and those types of things. Uh, patch changes, we looked at that earlier, and that made the difference between it playing an organ patch, because that was embedded in the MIDI file, or the electric piano patch on the melody track, since that was in the Band in a Box file. Uh, include lyrics. Some MIDI files have lyrics. This one I do, don't think does have any. Uh, and now this one here, merge with existing data we looked at before, and we do want to do this so that we're leaving that first chorus in there. So let's hit OK. Um, so now, at, at the first chorus, if I just start here, we're going to hear what we had imported before. All right, so we now have um, we now have uh, empty at bar at chorus two. I'm going to skip ahead now to chorus four. So if I go here and we'll go chorus four, it should be uh, there should be nothing on the melody track except once it repeats around to there, it will the melody should start. All right, so there you go. That uh, hopefully answers the question and gives you a bit of bit more insight into how importing MIDI files into Band in a Box works. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.